In problem number 13, we have another related rates problem. And in this related rates problem, we want to know, okay, we've got this sphere, okay? So we've got this sphere that's increasing in size, and we know how fast the volume of that sphere is increasing. And we're given that the volume of that sphere is increasing at 15 inches cubed per minute. Uh, and what we need to know is when the radius is 10 uh, inches, then how, what is the rate of change of the radius of that sphere? Okay, so since we're dealing with a sphere and we know something about its volume and something about its radius, then we need an equation that relates those two things together. And the obvious choice here is the equation for the volume of a sphere. So the equation for a volume of the sphere is V is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. And once we know the formula that we need to use, which is the volume of the sphere, now we can take the derivative of this formula with respect to time and get a new formula that will hopefully help us to find what it is that we're looking for. So let's take the derivative of this equation. Uh, I'll move it over here. And first I take the derivative of v, but with respect to the variable t, which is time. So if I take the derivative of v with respect to t, then I get the derivative of v with respect to t, or dv dt. Okay, uh, then on the other side, this 4 thirds pi just hangs around because it's a constant. And then I take the derivative of r cubed. But the derivative of r cubed by the chain rule is 3 r squared times the derivative of r. But it's the derivative of r with respect to t. Okay. So I've taken this derivative and I've got dv dt equals 4 thirds pi times 3r squared times dr dt. If I wanted to, I could clean this up a little bit and write that dv dt is equal to the 3 on the bottom and the 3 on the top cancel. And I just get 4 pi times r squared times dr dt. All right, so here's our equation. And now we need to ask the question, what is it we're trying to find out here? What is it we're trying to solve for? And the answer that you should come up with is, well, I'm trying to find the rate of change of the radius. So how is the radius changing? Okay, and the radius is change is the change in R over time. So this is the change in the radius. That's what I'm looking to solve for here. I'm trying to find dr dt. So to find dr dt, I need to know what is dv dt, and I need to know what r is. Well, in the problem, we're given that the change in the volume over time is 15 inches cubed per minute. So dv dt is just 15. And in the problem, I'm given that r, at the time I'm interested, is 10. So now I just need to plug in those two values, and I will get a value for dr dt. So we know that dv dt is 15. Uh, and on the other side, I have this 4 pi times r, which is 10, squared times dr dt. And now I just need to solve for that dr dt. So if I multiply this out, I get 15 is equal to 10 squared is 100 times 4 is 400 pi times dr dt. Now I can divide both signs by 400 pi, and I get that dr over dt is equal to 15 divided by 400 pi. And if you'd like to simplify that down a little bit, I suppose that both the top and the bottom are divisible by 5. So I could write that dr over dt is 3 over 80 pi. 
And now I should ask, oh, but what are the units on dr dt? Well, in this problem, r, the radius, is measured in what unit? Inches. So it's inches per, uh, on the bottom, uh, we have time, and time in this problem is measured in minutes. So this is minutes. And so the answer here, dr dt, is 3 over 80 pi inches per minute.